Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Well, Apple continues to make improvements and enhancements to the iWork suite of applications, that's Pages, Numbers and Keynote, on both macOS and iOS. I last covered iWork back in August 2019, so I figured it was time for a quick look at the three applications to see what's changed. As usual, I'll take a look at the common changes and then have separate sections for any app's specific changes since I last took a look at the apps. I'll also try and show you the changes on both macOS and iOS and iPadOS, so feel free to jump between the various chapters, skipping any sections you don't need. So starting off with the Mac, I've done a quick search for iWork on the App Store. Uh, first thing I'll notice is that we now have some new icons for pages, numbers and Keynote. Uh, if I just check on the version number, let's go into Keynote. These are all the same versions, uh, version 10.3.9. So this particular tutorial relates to any app, any of the three apps at 10.3.9 and above. So let me pop this down out of the way. Uh, we already have uh, everything installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and run Pages. And if I just start off with a new document, uh, you'll find that every application now has a brand new template chooser or theme picker. Uh, they're all basically the same structure. We have the new sidebar down the side with all the different types of templates we can choose from here. Uh, one thing which is interesting, which is this orange sort of highlighted color. If I go ahead and uh, let's just pop this down and let's open numbers. You'll notice that numbers is in green. I do file new. We have this green accent. Now this accent color is controlled by system preferences. If I go into system preferences. Obviously I'm using Big Sur uh, on this particular machine. If I go to general and my accent color is currently this one. If I change it to say, uh, graphite, this highlight color changes to graphite as well. If I pop this down, go back across the pages and say new document, you'll see that this is now gray. And if I go back to numbers and say new document, uh, no specific accent color this time, uh, just the gray. Okay, I'm just going to pop both of those down and go back to here because I quite like the accent color. I'll change that to there and close that. If I also go into Keynote, we get the same structure this time, the same sidebar, but this time we're looking at the various themes within Keynote. And there are some new themes included with the latest version of Keynote, but I'll leave you to go in and have a look at those. So let's just close down Keynote. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.